friends, Aubrey Larson, and I'm the IRC Tire Guy. Today, we are here in Page, Arizona, and I've got my buddy James Flynn, who absolutely rips on a dirt bike and lives very close to the first round of the U.S. Hard Enduro Series. James has a very good understanding of how to ride out here on this very unique sandstone. This takes a whole certain style of riding and understanding. What we want to do today is break down exactly the specifics, little tips that will help you guys if you decide to come out and race the first round of the U.S. Hard Enduro Series on March 26th here in Page, Arizona. Uh, it's going to be a killer first round. You can check out our track preview that we did last week right up here. And this week, we want to help you guys get dialed in on your riding. So James and I are going to head out to some sections and uh, hopefully you guys can take a little bit away from this and have a little bit of confidence coming in to this first round. So let's do it. Yeah. All right, so starting off, this stuff is really unique and we've got a unique little section here that we want to break down. Now, the first thing that I notice is the struggle with traction. Obviously, you know, you want the softest possible tire, you want a nice soft setup to get that traction, but another thing that is so important, and you know, obviously we talk about it all the time, but it's momentum, for sure. right? For sure. We need momentum getting through this stuff. Now, break it down a little more for us on the specifics of what we're seeing in the section. James, go ahead. So right here, uh, I would say that when the section was brand new, it probably had a lot of traction going up it. Um, but I think as riders are going through it, what's happening is sand from up top is getting roosted and kicked yeah. down. Oh. And so now you have sand on top of sandstone and that's creating almost like a marble effect. And so if I were to come in and I were to come to a dead stop and try to take off, my wheel is definitely gonna spin and I'm not gonna be going anywhere. Right. So I'm definitely, I'm coming into the section uh, looking ahead, looking where I want to go, of course, uh, that's gonna, actually going to help us carry momentum. And I have my heels dropped and my toes pointed up, and my hips are as far back, leveraging the bike to get traction to that rear wheel, and also keeping it planted through these square edges. And That's huge. Yeah. Keeping it planted through the square edges. Like, you see, these are like steps. And if you've ever ridden the dirt bike upstairs, it feels like a ramp, right? So these steps are quite a bit gnarlier, but the focus is to treat them like riding right up a ramp. So that means momentum. That For means, sure. like he was saying, dropping your heels, pulling your hips back as far as you can to try and leverage all that weight to the rear tire and stick up every single step. It's way harder said than done, but momentum is gonna be huge in the first part. And then also, again, it's reading, right? For so sure. something you mentioned was reading the section. So break that down for us. Oh, for yeah, for sure. So reading the section, um, just, I mean, visually you can see that there's sand on top of the sandstone uh, inside of some of the little holes. So that's gonna be a huge indicator that you're not gonna have very much traction going up this obstacle. Oh. Another thing too is the color, the color will change. The sandstone color will change if there's a, you know, some sand on top of it, it might be a little bit lighter of a color. So wow. that's definitely something huge to look out for also. Um, I mean, you can tell too, like as we rode it, it got lighter. Like sandstone is sand. So it rips off and you can see sure. where the lines are hitting. Sure. If you're coming in, I mean, I, I think most of you guys watching this video probably won't be leading the race. <laughs> so the point is there's gonna be indicators on where the guys are going, how slick it's going to be. You see this sand on top of sandstone. That means a lot of guys have been going, a lot of guys have been spinning, and uh, we need to hammer down, we need to carry that momentum up on those pegs, balls of our feet, dropping back, trying to leverage that weight to the rear tire, and uh, skipping across the top, being light, being smooth. Uh, this is a technical section, and uh, there's a lot of these. So the focus is on exactly what James is breaking down. Let's move on to the next one. Heck yeah, dude. All right, so James had a really solid little tip on specifically riding in sand, okay? And there's a lot that can come into this. He was mentioning pivot turns, and basically this kind of ties into that momentum that we were talking about, but uh, it's got a little extra level to it. So break it down for us, James. Um, so in sand, I would say everything in sand is uh, you're almost 
doing everything a little bit earlier. You're always braking earlier. You're always accelerating earlier, whether if it's in a corner or even a jazz app or a pivot turn. Right. But with a pivot turn, if you're stuck in sand or you're even stopped in sand and you try to do a pivot turn, you're gonna more than likely just get buried because of how soft the ground is. So I always definitely, when I'm in sand, I like to come in, you know, just with a little bit of speed to help get that front end up for that pivot turn uh, to avoid getting buried. Right, so so uh, that's a really simple thing, but it's often, uh, you know, guys overlook that. You, you come into a section and you'll see a lot of guys stop. And you stop in something like this and we find the, the tire just doesn't, I mean, sand, it breaks away. It doesn't want to hook up, right? Unless right. you're running a, you know, some kind of real serious sand tire, right? I guess you could run an M5B, but that's not going to work great on the sandstone, right? You want that gummy compound, right? So it's one of those things you got to carry that momentum and kind of try to continue, even if it's a little bit, continue the momentum forward. Now, one added tip to that that I think is extremely important, and I'll, I'll do it live right here. Basically, if you're stuck in sand, which you're going to get stuck at times, learn how to get out of sand, okay? Now, again, I see a lot of guys, they will fight their bike and bury it, right? A lot of guys will bury their bike just like that. You have yourself a hole. Simple way, you've seen my getting unstuck technique breakdowns, Simple way to fix that. Pull your bike back. Notice how I used my rear brake there. I'm holding my rear brake so it's back in the hole that I've dug. Set up. And we zap ourselves out. It's so important to do to learn simple techniques like that. They're gonna save you so much energy, so much time. Notice I'm using everything together. I use the brake to hold my bike. I use my body position, starting back, zapping, moving my body forward quickly, then releasing the crust, right? Initiating, taking action with my body first. All of these little things we've broken down in the past and you've gotta, you've gotta use everything together in hard enduro situations to get through and hammer down. That's a killer tip and uh, yeah, let's move on. All right, so one of the most important techniques that we can talk about is holding pressure. Now, as you can see here, we have a pretty serious side hill, okay? And there's a lot of little tips that are so important in these high risk situations. And you may see in the video, me sliding down on my butt uh, and my bike just crashing all the way down because I didn't use proper technique. Second time around, I, you know, it's so high risk, it's such a, uh, you know, a horrible place to crash. Second time around, I just greased it, right? And it's a lot of mental, right? It's a lot of focus on committing. I wasn't committed 100%. I kind of turned out early and I wasn't pressuring my pegs enough. There was a lot of little things that kind of went wrong for me in that situation. And again, I corrected them and I, and I greased it, but it's, it's just one of those things. I was super mad. I actually still am extremely mad that I crashed like that, but James has some solid insights on weighting the pegs and yeah, how do we conquer a section like this? So like Rich said, this is obviously a very steep hill. And so one of the biggest things is going to be to weight that outside peg and how we're going to initiate this is I'm going to use Rich right here to hold me up is I want my outside leg that's weighing that peg, I want it completely straight with my other foot, like pretty much not even touching the other peg. Like that's how much weight is on this peg I want. I, everything I can possibly put in that outside peg I want there. Absolutely. And then another huge thing too is if, you know, depending on the angle of the hill, you want your bike pretty much straight up and down to have perfect contact. So if you're not weighing that outside peg, and you start coming in a little bit, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start sliding down and kind of like what happened to this guy. Exactly, uh, exactly. Practice what you so. preach. You have to oh. lean the bike out. And a common thing that happens is you get scared, you dab, you put all your weight on the inside peg, or you put all your weight on the inside dab, taking your foot off of the outside peg where we're trying to get that traction, bike leans in and we for Go sure. sliding down the hill on and, a butt like a goon, right? And even, well, it, me crawling through this just now, I was doing like 
little taps I was going as I was going through because I was going so slow. Little but taps I was on the just, inside. Yeah, Very just little light. taps on Very the light. yeah. If you right. do a little tap on the outside, you're going down. Done but for it. so that's huge. And I mean, you don't have to have all the speed in the world for something like that. It certainly does help. Uh, but it is a little scarier too, so. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So yeah, momentum, commitment, huge. Lean the bike out, away from the inside of the hill, weight the outside pig, light dabs if you have to on the inside, but those dabs are only for a correction and balance, nothing more. We have to keep that pressure on the peg and you see what happens when it goes wrong. It goes really wrong, right? <laughs> James and I could sit here and talk about the intricacies of riding sandstone for literally an hour. This video could be way too long, and it might already be too long. But one thing I want you guys to understand is it's largely about putting in the time. Come out early, try to get comfortable on this stuff. There's a lot of land before the race that you can go out and test and practice and get used to the, the little things that you have to understand in this sandstone riding. That's gonna be a huge help. And one other thing I will say that I feel like I need to mention more is find riders that are better than you. There are some amazing teachers in Arizona specifically. Uh, Ryan Wells comes to mind immediately. Ryan Wells is a insanely fast rider, a super good dude. He owns Arizona dirt bike training, right? Yep. And I mean, the dude is a, I mean, he's a salt of the earth guy. He's a hard worker. He knows how to go crazy fast and he knows how to go crazy slow. I know that you train with him quite a bit, right? Yeah, for sure. I actually live with Ryan and you know, every, every day I'm coming to him and I'm showing him videos of what I did that day and different drills I did. And we're picking apart and thinking of, you know, ways I can ride the dirt bike better. Yeah. And uh, everything that we mentioned here today was th stuff that I've learned from Ryan. Boom. Um, every, you know, everything from how to ride sand, how to weight your pegs, everything. Right. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is there's, there's, there's a lot of options out there. Go out, reach out, get help. It's, you know, this, this sport is all about ego, right? It's about freaking who can send it the hardest. And a lot of these guys struggle to reach out for help. And I know Ryan would love some people to hit him up. And uh, I mean, the dude is, like I said, he's a killer guy and he knows how to ride like a, like a savage. So uh, hit him up, Arizona Dirt Bike Training. And you know what? Follow James Flynn at James Flynn 55 on Instagram, TikTok, right? All yep, of those. Yep. And uh, follow myself, Rich Larson 511. Follow IRC Moto. And uh, I hope that we see you guys at the first round of the US Hard Enduro Series. I'm super pumped about it here in Page, Arizona. Uh, look at this beautiful sunset. I mean, we're talking, this is what you get Can't to see it. March 26th. Can't beat it. I hope to see you guys there. We'll be there. Come say hi. And uh, until next time, keep shredding. Heck yeah. Thank you.